it's time to meet another Marvel superhero. Here we go with the story, How, How the, the Incredible the Hulk, Hulk Began. <laughs> Deep in the New Mexico desert, a team of government scientists was about to set off the first underground test explosion of the G-bomb. The bomb was designed to release deadly gamma radiation. Miles away, inside a solid concrete bunker, the creator of the G-bomb, Dr. Bruce Banner, and his partner, Igor Starsky, anxiously awaited the test. Gazing out through a super-thick window, Banner told Starsky, A few seconds more and we'll know whether we have succeeded or not. Starsky was angry because Banner had kept the secret formula of the gamma ray to himself. No one knew that Starsky was secretly a Russian spy, with orders to send the formula for this new weapon back to the Russian government. As Dr. Banner lifted his binoculars to watch the last minutes of the countdown, he suddenly exclaimed, Wait! There's a teenage boy out there driving into the test area! Igor, delay the countdown until I can get that boy to safety! No sooner had Dr. Banner run to the door and sped off in a jeep than Starsky thought to himself, What a stroke of luck! I'll let the test go on as planned. Bruce Banner will be killed. Then I can find his notes on the bomb. This will earn me a gold star back in Moscow. Meanwhile, Banner had reached the test site and was shouting to the teenager, You get out of there! You're in a forbidden test area! We've got to reach the protective trench before the bomb goes off! But it was too late. Starsky had not halted the countdown, and a mechanical voice was counting the seconds. Three, three, two, two, one, one, zero, zero, zero. At the last possible second, Dr. Banner pushed the boy to safety in the trench. The bomb exploded, covering Banner with clouds of radiation. The world around him seemed to stand still, and only his ear-splitting scream filled the air. Ah! Hours later, at the military base hospital, Banner began to recover his senses. He opened his eyes to see a doctor standing above him and the teenager whose life he had saved in the next bed. It's a miracle you're still alive, the doctor told him. You absorbed the full impact of the gamma rays. Banner looked confused. How did I get here? The teenager answered. I brought you. My name is Rick Jones. Since you saved my life, I had to save yours. <laughs> The doctors and the government scientists were baffled that Banner had not been killed by the radiation. They kept him and his new friend away from the other patients at the hospital that night. Rick was worried. How long are they going to keep us here, Dr. Banner? I don't know. Maybe they figure I'm going to die. It isn't possible for someone to take so much radiation and not have something happen. But I am beginning to feel strange. My head is pounding and I... The whole world's going batty! cried Rick. Even the radio won't play. All it gives out is static clicking. In that instant, Banner realized what was happening. That's no radio, Rick. It's a Geiger counter. It measures radiation. Listen to it. It's going wild. What's happening? As Rick watched in horror, Dr. Bruce Banner transformed into a colossal green giant with superhuman strength. He was transformed into the Incredible Hulk. In that one-minute transformation, the Hulk lost all memory of who he really was. Enraged and trapped in a hospital room, the Hulk smashed through the concrete wall and charged out into the night. After overturning a military jeep filled with soldiers, the Hulk, like a wounded beast, stormed off into the night. One lone figure followed him. It was Rick Jones. You saved my life! Rick shouted to the Hulk. You need me now! Wait! I'm going with you! Dr. Banner was missing, and no one dreamed that he and the Hulk were one and the same person. Meanwhile, 
that treacherous Igor Starsky had hurried to Banner's cabin to search for the plans to the gamma ray. While there, he was suddenly surprised by a giant green intruder. It was the Hulk. Starsky tried to attack the Hulk, who easily overpowered the spy. Moments later, the military police arrived and took Starsky away to jail. Back in the cabin, Rick found papers telling how Banner had been a lonely child who hated the world. But Banner had kept that hatred inside him all these years. Rick realized that the gamma rays had changed Banner's mind and body, and through the Hulk, Banner was able to show his hatred toward the world. Rick showed the Hulk a picture of Bruce Banner and tried to explain, Don't you understand? This is a picture of you before you changed. The Hulk seemed to be trying to remember. I seem to remember. It was the bomb, the gamma rays. They turned me into this. As for you, you are the only one who knows who I really am. And with that, the Hulk reached out to attack Rick. But at that very instant, the first rays of dawn appeared. Slowly, the Hulk began changing once more. Grabbing his head in pain, the Hulk shouted, My brain is on fire! What's happening to me? I'm changing! Changing! It feels as though a veil has been lifted! I can think again! It's over. Uh, the nightmare is over. Rick looked on in amazement, then exclaimed, Gosh, you're Dr. Bruce Banner again. Immediately after Banner's change back to human form, the scientist had a frightening thought. I changed into this creature last night when it got dark. When the sun sets tonight, how do I know I won't change again? How do I know that I won't keep changing into that brutal monster? That creature which is afraid of nothing. That creature which knows only cruelty and power. All I can do is sit helplessly in fear that I will again become the Hulk. Banner was right. It was the coming and going of the sun now that caused him to transform into the Hulk. But this would change. Later, it would be changes in his heartbeat and pulse rate that would cause him to transform. Bruce Banner would spend many years struggling to find a cure for his horrible problem. The one thing he would always try to remember was to keep his anger under control. For when his anger turned to rage, he turned from Dr. Bruce Banner into the Incredible, incredible Hulk. Hulk.